Dick, you had, uh, you were part of that um, HRVG class way back September of 2011. Sorry, not 2011, um, 2001. 2001. And, and what was it, five hours before the first plane? Yeah, it was uh, in right? the evening, like we met at seven o'clock Hawaii time, which okay. would be um, New York time. And we worked a validation target in class. We were all in the classroom and we worked it and we turned it in and it meant nothing to us. We just, we got the feedback and the feedback the target was Timothy Leary in a flotation tank to see if anybody would get the gestalt of a guy floating in a box of water. And Timothy Leary being a very interesting individual, like what would you pick up on his mind, Mr. Acidhead? Mm -hmm. So we got the feedback. We looked at our data and no one drew Timothy Leary or a man in a box of water. And Glenn said, well, you know, I would have expected somebody would have drawn a man in a box or you know a man floating in water and none of you did so i guess you guys were just off tonight and we collected the data you know turned in all the pages and turned it in put it in a pile and said see you next week monday night september 10th well we wake up the next morning and jesus christ the towers are falling and the planes are you know this whole thing thing and we all watched that for the next couple of weeks going holy shit it was like maybe a month later Sita was doing the library work where Glenn would take the target the the folders home and put it on a desk and Sita would log it into a computer um order all the sessions put it in a manila envelope, label it, uh, label it on the filing cabinet. And so she was looking at those. She took the, she started looking through them. And she goes, oh my God, people drew two towers with smoke coming out. I drew an airplane hitting a building. We had people falling through the air, explosions. We had 9-11 all over that session. So here we were like six hours prior to 9-11 doing a validation work and everybody got 9-11 data and i can i can pull that out and publish it she did a presentation on that i would say in this case we're either all really good or really bad and the the amount of corroboration is a little bit uh, frightening to me. And Daz, I've been working with you for a lot of years. You don't often do a session like that one you just showed us tonight. And I've seen in the past, a lot of the ones when I've seen you do work like that, and I've gone home. Oh, uh, I don't know about that. And then a few months later, like the Beirut bombing, plane crashing in the Mediterranean, Maui fire, you just had that one. So you're not uh, prone to doing such targets, Daz. So I give that credence. One other data point, Cliff High, who has been running web bots for many years. Uh, first, we did a, I've been listening to him since like 2006, 2007, and he gets language off of internet chat sites where the emotional language he, he has found predict future events. And Cliff has been saying that he has never seen the emotional release higher than it is right now. He says it is so off the scale, the, the human consciousness putting like something's about to happen, linguistics out. Cliff says it's like a thousand percent over what it, the the most intense he's ever seen it. And I think we might be doing a session with him. Here's the question. Did we just remote view the next 9-11? That's hard to say. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to be alarmist, mm -hmm. but. Well, let's put it this way. We, we got some 
very good seasoned remote viewers. And when you get this level of corroboration, it is, it's something to, to take serious. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so you know, don't, don't sell your house and, you know, have, <laughs> you know what I mean? Just, you know, keep an eye well, out. But when we've, we, we, when we've, we have had quite a good correlation events like this in the past where we all get data like this, like when we all had the mushroom cloud and it ended up being the volcano. Um, but what usually happens is the magnitude of the actual real event is usually less than what we've reported it. Mm. Yeah, yeah, we we all, we published that mushroom cloud, and yeah. we all like four of us saw mushroom clouds, and they were all the same mushroom cloud. And then a week later, was it uh, the Canary Islands volcano? That exact mushroom cloud, but it wasn't a city destroying. Yeah nuclear explosion it was just a mushroom cloud from a big fire big volcano yeah.